Okay, so today, guys, we're looking at the LED video light. Now, for anyone who does photography or videography or film, they will know that lighting is a key aspect to production. Lighting is very important on creating a good image, and of course, it can set moods and tones. So that's why lighting is important. Now, this little device was only £35, and I've linked it in the description, and I got it from Amazon. So if any of you guys want to take it, want to give it a look, um, you can. It's you're free to do so. Now, this device is really quite versatile. See, at the bottom here, you've got the hot shoe mount for the top of the camera, but it also has a tripod thread. Can you see that there? So you can mount it on top of a tripod. It also has an adjustable um, angle here, so you can adjust what angle the light is at, or what angle it's coming to the shot. At the side here, you've got all the different levels of lights. So obviously, you've got off. Then you can go through from quite a low light to a really high and very bright light. And you can probably see in the background of this video already, if I just, if I just light this a bit from the top, you can see what a difference it makes. And I know it's out of focus, but still, you can see how bright it can get. Now, the video light takes um, six AA batteries, um, which are put in just under this little flap here. Or you can actually use, um, there's three different types of Sony lithium batteries that it takes. Um, Panasonic lithium battery as well, so you can use rechargeable batteries inside the device, which I think is a really good feature. If you want to test how much power your batteries have got, press the little test button and it shows you with the red lights how much power they've got. I'm going to put this down for a second and just turn that off. Now, the video um, LED light also comes with these diffusers which is a really great addition. So you obviously got the bright spotlight of the um, of the video light without any diffusers on, but then you've got the standard white diffuser, which gives a nice, just, a, well, kind of soft box effect. Put that back in there. Then we've also got this pink diffuser and this orange diffuser. Now they give kind of uh, color temperature um, effects which looks really nice. The orange is quite orange I must admit, um, a little more orange than I'd like because uh, obviously the whole point of it being white light is so it, so it looks natural but it can be helpful I suppose at some stage. Let's put that back in there. So I think it's quite nice to get this with the device itself, get a nice little wallet just to keep them safe and protected. And obviously that can just slip into your camera bag. It's really small, so that's really good. So yeah, I mean, for, for any kind of video production or photography, because I know obviously photography you'd use an external flash and you just have it separate to the image, but this is actually really useful because you can have the light on continuously onto your subject so you know what it's going to look like before you use the flash. And it will just... I don't know, it really lights the image really well. Now, the only problem I have seen with this device at the moment is it does give off quite a large vignette around the image because of this border here. Um, but when you use the softbox kind of uh, insert, it's not as bad. Uh, I'm going to put in some photos and maybe some video at the end of this video so you guys can actually see the difference between using this and not using this device. Um, and hopefully then you'll see if it's useful or not. So I definitely advise one of these though to any people doing photography or people want to make short films, videos, stuff like that. Because for £35 you can't really fail. Um, bigger lights, uh, soft boxes and stuff are a lot more expensive. You're looking at around £90, £100 just for like standard small soft boxes. For larger ones you're looking at an even more expensive price. So this is a really handy accessory. And of course it runs straight off batteries. You don't need any AC power or any like power line um, connected to it so you can just use it straight from the box straight from your camera bag slap it on top of your camera or slap, slap it on a tripod for some really great lighting thanks for watching guys I'm gonna attach some video and some photos at the end of this video so you guys can see how this looks with and without lighting I appreciate you guys watching stay tuned for more unboxings and more photography and video tips and I will see you guys in another video